Open to the Leap 16 was released almost a week ago. For years, my main daily driver has been Open to the Tumbleweed. I thought, finally, it's time to switch to Leap, a more stable distro, closer to Sousa Linux Enterprise, fewer surprises, but the switch didn't even last eight hours. While I was reinstalling Tumbleweed and restoring my workstation, a line from a song popped into my head. The Woods by The White Buffalo from Netflix's Punisher series. The lyrics go, they all strive to deviate from the norm, but collectively swarm to be all the same. Open to the leap used to deviate from the norm. Yast was its DNA. Now, with Yast removed, Leap feels just like everybody else. Let's be fair, Leap 16 seemed promising on paper. It's built from the same sources as SUSE Linux Enterprise 16, so you get enterprise grade stability. It promises 24 months of security updates and maintenance. Package management with the zipper is faster thanks to parallel downloads. It also modernizes hardware support. x86, 64, v2 CPUs are now the baseline. And 32 bit support is stripped out. So I installed the Leap 16 expecting a polished experience. What I found was very different. First, the installer. Leap 16 using the brand new Agama installer. It replaces the classic Yast installer completely, but Agama is not mature yet. It feels stripped down compared to the flexibility and safety Yast gave us. In the storage screen, partitioning is confusing enough that it's easy to wipe the wrong drive or partition by mistake. You have to be extra careful. And here is a problem I had during install. Leap 16 simply didn't recognize my Wi-Fi card at all. This same hardware is always recognized by Tumbleweed. But in Leap 16, no wireless networks appeared. For me, this was already a warning sign. Leap 16's very first touch point, the installer, is shaky. Once installed, Leap 16 still showed cracks. No Pac-Man repository yet. That means no multimedia codecs. VLC couldn't play common video formats out of the box. OBS Studio and Steam are missing from Rebus entirely. The official release notes confirm it. Steam was removed because 32-bit libraries are no longer supported. The only option is Flatpak. OBS, same story. On the positive side, AMD Rock M and NVIDIA drivers worked fine. I tested DaVinci Resolve with Rock M and it launched and worked properly after installing the Rock M stack. VLC, Steam, OBS, better to install them from Flatpak if you want them functional. Steam via Flatpak worked for me. OBS too, but it feels like a regression compared to Leap 15 where Pac-Man filled the gap. This is the big one. Yast's graphical modules are gone. Leap 16 replaces it with Cockpit for system management and Merlin for package management. The funny thing is, Cockpit doesn't come installed by default. You need to install it. This is not just a cosmetic change. It is a fundamental shift. Without Yast, Leap loses the uniqueness that made it stand out in the Linux wallet. Let's highlight a few more changes straight from the release notes. Slash temp is no longer persistent. It's now mounted as tempfs cleared on reboot. Sysv and its scripts are gone. Only systemd units remain. New users are no longer added to a common users group automatically. Kernel modules must be compiled with GCC 13, the compiler used for the Leap 16 kernel. Some of these are progress, others will break old workflows. So, after less than 8 hours, I reinstalled Tumbleweed. Let me be clear here, I'm not criticizing OpenSUSE Leap, I'm just giving my first impression, my react. Leap 16 feels un unfinished. 
and its effort to modernize it's abundant much of what made OpenSUSE OpenSUSE if you relayed on Yast it is gone if you need 32-bit libraries or Steam from Rebus they are gone if you expect Pac-Man to save you with Codex it is not ready yet yes it is enterprise aligned yes it is a stable but it feels like Leap um, traded its identity for conformity for me Leap 16 is not ready for prime time I will stick with Tumbleweed where I have ruling updates Yast, Snapper and the ecosystem I depend on what about you? Have you tried Leap 16 yet? Did you run into the same issues? Or are you happy with the new direction? Drop a comment below, I would love to hear. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe and share it. It really helps the channel. Until then, back to Tumbleweed. And thanks for watching.